Have you ever been in an earthquake? Well, I have. We were lucky it was not a strong one, just few shakes, no damage at all. But it was scary. The fact that we could have easily lost everything was scary. Well, every year there are at least few major earthquakes around the world, and I'm sure you know how destructive they can get. So what can we do to make our buildings stronger and safer for earthquakes? Well, engineers have been constantly working on new designs for safer buildings, but so far they all have one thing in common. They all use structural steel in the main skeleton of tall buildings. Now, steel has a feature called yielding, which means after a certain load, it becomes plastic and won't come back to its original condition again. That has a good side and a bad side. On the bad side, when it still yields in an earthquake, it's beyond repair. It's not possible to replace all the damaged steel because in a typical building, it means replacing the whole skeleton. On the good side, when it still yields, it becomes similar to a shock absorber in a car, which reduces earthquake's energy. That might stop total collapse of the building and allow people to escape. But even at that point, the damage is so much that we won't be able to repair the building. We have to demolish it and build a new one. So what if we could have a new type of building that doesn't fail during earthquake, we can easily fix it after if we have to, and use it again? In my thesis, we came up with a new idea. We thought, what if we use the steel only as a shock absorber to keep the good side of it and build the main skeleton actually steel free to get rid of the bad side of it? We combine concrete with a composite called GFRP to build the main skeleton. Now, GFRP does not yield, and during earthquake, it acts like a spring that brings the structure back to its original condition without any damage. But now we need to reduce the energy. Otherwise, earthquake vigorously shakes the building to failure. For that, we use the steel plates only as shock absorbers and only at locations that we can access. We purposely design them to yield fast and reduce the energy. After earthquake, all we have to do to repair the building is just replace damage plates with new ones, while the main skeleton is undamaged, like changing only a shock absorber in your car. Now, does it work? Yes, we built real samples and tested them in the lab. We also made computer models simulating response of these buildings in real earthquakes. The results showed that our building can resist an earthquake that could have caused a deadly failure in a typical building. So I think with our buildings, we're a step closer to reduce deadly and costly effect of earthquakes. Thank you.